welcome back to Sarah Says. Oh my goodness guys, I'm so excited to be doing this video today. I'm so excited to have my Christmas tree up and start to do all things christmas -y. I know, it's only the middle of November. But guys, it's like 39 days until Christmas. Maybe even 38 today. Hmm. So it's definitely acceptable to start doing little Christmassy type hauls, right? And I gathered as last week you all enjoyed my little baby haul so much, this week I'd go straight into another one. I posted a post on our family Facebook page yesterday, I think it was, um, asking about asking for advice about advent calendars for those who like to do different types of advent calendars the ones that you do to fill yourself and for ideas because oh my goodness it's so difficult to find little tiny novelty bits and bats to go inside those things and Lots of you guys had replied, everyone was sharing ideas and it was so lovely and so I thought that I would do a little haul showing you guys what we do for our Christmas advent calendar traditions each year and then also show you some fillers that I've got the girls for this year's advent calendar fillers. I do just want to say I know a lot of younger, a lot of younger children watch our main videos on our main channel, The Inger Family. You guys watch our daily vlogs on there. And I don't know how many of you watch these videos too, but if you are watching with your child, or if you're a child watching without your parents knowing, then you might want to watch the video yourself first. The parent might want to watch the video yourself first. Just because there's nothing bad in this video whatsoever. But obviously lots of families have lots of different types of Christmas traditions and different ways to explain things, etc. And I would hate, hate, hate for anyone watching this video and think that I've ruined their family traditions or the way they do things at Christmas. So if you are watching with your child, maybe watch on your own first and make sure you're happy with it. And if you're a child watching, maybe check with your parents to make sure they're happy with you watching this video. That being said, there's no big spoilers in this video. I just know that families have different traditions and do things differently. So it's best to be on the safe side. Okay, so this little haul I am about to show you is going to be mainly girls. In fact, it's all going to be girls. Because if you don't know, I have three girls. Isabel, who is 13, Esme, who is 9, and little Isla Savannah, who is 6. Next year, I'll also have a baby boy. Because I am pregnant with a little boy. So next year we'll definitely be having a boy inspiration stuff too. But this video will be obviously concentrating on what I've bought my girls this year. There were a few little suggestions, if I recall, on my thread on Facebook yesterday. So if you've got a little boy and you want to have some inspiration ideas and you're not really sure what to use, then head on over to our family Facebook page. The thread should be like the top one and you can read everyone's replies because there were some great ones. And there were, were a few that mentioned what they'd bought for their little boys. I also just want to say that I did receive a few comments on that thread yesterday saying do you struggle for Isabel with her being 13 and I think I feel like I'm really really super duper lucky with Isabel because she's such a mature 13 year old but at the same time she still loves playing with toys and dolls etc etc and she loves doing that because she's got little sisters. I'm sure if Isabel was an only child or the only girl in the family, she may well have um, surpassed the doll stage. But at the moment, she's just as happy to receive a Shopkin doll <laughs> inside her advent calendar as what the other two would be. And that's because she enjoys playing with her sisters. And she's so grown up and mature in that respect. I often hear her say to Esme and Isla, 
girls, we have to play together now because when we're grown up and older, we won't have as much time. So we've got to make the time playing together now. And it's so sweet and so lovely and so makes my life so much easier when I can just buy three things the same instead of being like, Isabel's too young. Isabel's too old for that and so I can't get her one or Isla's too young for that I can't get her one and now I've got Esme's and Alice's one but I've still got six things to get for Isabel etc etc it's so much easier that I can just go into a shop buy three of the same thing done okay just before I start I do also want to say that if you're watching this video thinking oh man I'm failing as a parent I've only got my child a chocolate advent calendar this year from the pound shop please 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 do not think like that. There have been plenty of years where I've not had the money or I've not had the time or I've just not had the energy to make more of an effort like I have done this year with the girls advent calendars and they never once said well you know so-and-so's got way better presents than this on advent on their advent why do I only get this never ever ever children are so grateful for anything you can give them and I know myself growing up we only ever got like advent calendars with the little chocolates inside and I loved it I loved it so 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 much and I would be so excited on a morning to run downstairs and find out which little Christmassy chocolate figurine would be in my advent calendar that day and just be so excited at the fact that I was allowed to eat a chocolate on a morning before going to school. So don't feel bad if you've not gone all out this year. Like I say, I have this year and I think I definitely did last year. I can't remember when I, I think maybe the year before, I don't know, but there has been years where I've only got the girls chocolate advent calendars and it's never, ever, ever once made me feel bad. So don't feel bad at all. So we do have a few advent calendars this year. They're all different. Some of them are more traditional and some are more, a bit extravagant. But I have gone a little bit crazy this year. But the most, oops, sorry about that guys. The most important one for me this year, and I'm so, so, so excited to have it. It was probably the cheapest one as well. It was like two or three pound, is this one. Chris looked at me like I was absolutely going crazy when I opened this I was like oh my gosh my advent calendar's arrived and he was like which one and I was like look and he was like turn it to the side he's like there's nothing in it I'm like that's where you're wrong there is cute traditional Christmas scenes behind each and every one of these doors and I'm so excited to start opening it. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of like the advent calendars that my grandparents would have. And they'd have it sat on their fireplace during December. And I remember going round and being really excited. Have you opened your door yet this morning? And if they hadn't, then I got to open it. And I got to show the, the little picture, which is behind the door. So this is a really cute traditional style advent calendar. And I got it from eBay. I think I just put in something like traditional advent calendar. It was like three, two or three pounds. And I love it. It's so sparkly. And just looking at this image makes me feel all warm inside. I can't wait to start opening this. Another Christmas advent tradition that we've started doing more recently in the last couple of years. I think we may have done this three times. So this year will be our fourth year doing it. And that is the book advent calendar. So I got this book out because we received this very kindly last year for the 60th anniversary of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And it's such a special book. I love it so much. All of our family love the Grinch movie. And it's just, it's such a lovely, lovely book. So this will definitely be going in our book advent this year. And if you don't know what a book advent is, it's basically 24 books that you don't have to have them Christmas themed, but we do. I like to have each book a little Christmas story. And you wrap all of these books up and you place them in a little pile. And then each night before bed, one of your children or your child gets to unwrap a book and there's a surprise Christmas story there. And then you'll read it before you go to bed. Here is our 24 books that I wrapped up last year. I think that was last year or maybe the year before. It just looks so lovely and so festive and the girls get 
so excited when they see these all parceled up under the Christmas tree. And I also just think it's such a lovely way to bring the whole family together on an evening when all the chaos of family life's done, all the after school clubs are done, the homework's done, the tea's done or dinner and they're washing up and all that and you can all just sit down quietly around the Christmas tree or in bed, whichever way you prefer to do it and read a short Christmas story. So, I went on eBay and searched personalised advent calendars or advent calendar ideas or something like that. And there's so, so, so many awesome, awesome ones that you can choose from nowadays. Like I say, over the last few years, it really seems to have become more of a thing to go out and, and do different type of advent calendars. And it brought up, or I decided on going for these ones. So, they come in a little bag, so a fun-filled advent bag for Isla, full of Christmas surprises. And then obviously one for Esme, and one for Isabel. And inside these bags, you get 24 of these little paper bags, and then you also get some stickers. You are supposed to pop them all back inside here. Now I am a little bit disappointed with this. Don't get me wrong, these were not expensive. They were like four pound per set. So they weren't expensive at all. There's no way 24 filled bags this size are going to fit inside this little bag, which kind of makes this little bag completely pointless. And I'm a bit gutted about that. The bags are all so smaller than I anticipated. So some of the things that I did buy to put inside these have not been any good. And I sat yesterday and, and sorted through and tested everything. And they were about six things that wouldn't, no way, go inside these bags. But that's okay. I've just put those in the girls' stocking filler bags instead. So now I'm going to show you guys what I've got to fill these with. If any of the girls' friends from school are watching, do not dare tell them because I don't want the surprise ruined. And if you guys have any other ideas, then don't forget to comment down below and let me know. Most of these things were from the pound shop or pound selling places. So the first one, the first thing, I don't know what order these are going in, so this might be like day 15, it might be day two, I don't know. Are uh, these cute little craft sets. So as you can see, you can use these to, it's like the stain, stained glass sets. They come with little paint pots. I got three different Christmassy designs. So I like to do things like that, even though the items are all the same, they're slightly different. So I'm not sure who I'll give who. I'll probably give the little puppy to Isabel. I'll probably give the unicorn to Isla and then the mermaid to Esme. Also for one pound each from the range I got these little wooden type, what's this board called? Is it chipboard or something? It's like little wooden figures that stand up. They come with a little stand at the back and you can just colour them in and I got three different designs again in those and I thought they were really sweet and I love that the girls will be able to do little crafty things when they get home from school. I think I also got these three little pom-pom ice cream keering type of things from the range as well. I thought they'd be super cute to go on the girls' school bags and they fit nicely into the little paper bags too. My girls are literally obsessed with blind bags, surprise packages, and all things like that. And they also love Disney. So I picked them up some of these adorables and you get a different princess inside or a surprise princess inside. And I think they'll really enjoy opening those. I bought these really sweet looking Millions candy canes from B&M. I thought they were really nice. They're bubblegum and strawberry flavour and they also come with a little Million gummy bear. And I thought they would be really sweet to go in one day. That whole eight pack was, I think, £1.99 from B&M. So I could even put them maybe two candy canes each or I can do a blue candy cane one day and then maybe a week later, a pink candy cane. I always find that lip balms are such a great go-to for girls at Christmas time. My girls love lip balms at any time of the year. 
seriously but Christmas time when the weather's cold you just can't be moisturizing your lips with lip balms and I got these super cute Mickey Mouse ones with little Mickey Mouse hats on for one pound from Asda Speaking about the Grinch again, I went into the pound shop yesterday just for a few last minute bits because I weren't sure if I had quite enough to fill all the bags. I need to get them sorted this weekend. And I found these Grinch lollipops, which are just so cute. It's, I've actually got a variety of different Grinch sweets. But there was lollipops, you get green, red. So you get strawberry, green apple and vanilla and they've all got Grinch faces on. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. Grinch gummies which just look so cute and Christmassy and then also Grinch popping candy and I thought a little selection of Grinch sweets one day in one of their bags would go down really well. Just can't beat a lint chocolate teddy or chocolate Santa Claus <laughs> at Christmas time. I'm sure I'm not the only parent that has a child completely obsessed, or children, completely obsessed with slime. So I managed to find these smallish slime pots from, I can't actually remember where I bought these from. I think it might have been Home Bargains, but it says that they're unicorn poo, which I'm sure my girls will find highly amusing. And they fit nicely into the bags because they're only small, and I think they were only a pound each too. So my Nana actually picked up these for me and gave me them and said these should fit in the girls' advent bags and it's a little Maltese reindeer. Esme loves these. In fact, all three girls love them, but especially Esme. So they'll go down a treat. And also these Dairy Milk Snowmen, which are so yummy. I recently went shopping to Manchester with a couple of my friends and we went in the Trafford Centre and there was a shop upstairs. I can't remember the name of the shop but it was one of those shops that just sell like knick-knack type stationery and bits and bats and I found these three packs of erasers in super cute, in a super cute style and I thought they would fit nicely into the bags. And in that same shop, I also found these squishy toast key rings, which are just so satisfying to squish down. And again, they're key rings, so the girls will be able to put these on their school backpacks. So I don't really like these because I don't like these types of lollipops, but the girls always find these highly amusing and they do like them. So I thought I'd get them. I think they were about a pound each, maybe even less than that from Wilkinson's. And it's these toilet filled, sherbet filled toilets with two toilet brush lollipops on each side. So each one you get a double pack of lollipops and then inside the toilet it's full of sherbet and I'm sure the girls will find these highly amusing. Also from Wilco's I found these golden golden gum nuggets and these were 30p. Now these were 30p and they'll definitely fit into the little paper bags so I was definitely buying them. I'm not even sure what they are. Oh oh golden gum duh so it's chewing gum and at the bottom it says tutti frutti flavor candy coated bubble gum so i just thought they were really cute and for that price i thought they'd be great another little item from the works shop are these squishy banana things that have tiny little orbeez balls inside my girls just love anything squishy and these are quite satisfying even excuse me even I have to admit. So these were actually supposed to be stocking fillers. Oh, they're so squishy and like, just, oh. So yeah, they were supposed to be stocking fillers, but like I said before, about six of the items that I got for the advents didn't actually fit into the advents. So we've had to swap things around a little bit. These do just, only just fit into the advent bags. So we've swapped them around and these will be going inside the girls' advent calendars instead. Another thing my nan actually picked up from Tesco's when she was doing her little chocolate advent run for me were these super cute Rudolph the reindeer 
little chocolate things and these were really cheap i'm sure they were like one pound for all three i think they were like 50p each or one pound for three of them which i thought were a really good price and obviously they're rudolph and the girls love rudolph and it's just a nice big chocolate christmas rudolph nose <laughs> One of you guys actually recommended I go to the pound shop because they had some really nice unicorn stationery in there. So I went up to the pound shop and I found some really cute bits. I did get more than what I'm going to show you here. But like I said before, some of the items were super duper cute, but just way too big to fit into these paper bags. So we've changed them around. Some of the stuff I'll be keeping and giving them in their stocking instead. But a couple of its bits that will fit into the bags are these really cute unicorn stamp sets. Isla especially loves stamping, so I'm sure those will go down just great. And then I also picked up these cute little unicorn diary books. So they've got little locks on the side and these marginally, literally only just fit into the paper bags. And I also got these erase and rewrite pens, which actually came from a store in Manchester that I got the toast squishy things etc etc but I just thought they were really cute and the fact that you can write and erase and it's pen the girls just think is the best thing ever so I'm going to put those in the bag with the diaries oh my gosh I feel like I've been showing you things forever surely I'm near the end now guys I picked up these super cute nail varnish sets from Asda I think they were a pound each or something like that I'll probably give Isabel this one and then Isla and Esme the end too also from Asda are these really cute lip balm sets like I like before I'll probably give Isabel maybe this one and then the younger two the reindeer these were also one pound and will definitely be used lots over Christmas Another pound shop bargain that I got yesterday was these squishy emoji little poops. <laughs> it's squishy, it's a keyring for their bag, they were a pound each and the girls will love them. Whilst I was in B&M yesterday, I saw these little chocolate lol doll eggs. Now, these are sure to make my girls very happy. I'm pretty sure they were 60p each or something like that. So I'm not expecting them to have like anything exciting inside. It's probably a chocolate egg with a sticker or something like that. But they look super cute and I liked that you could get three different designs. So we went for this one, this one, and then finally, this one and the last thing I've not actually counted up what I've got there but I'm pretty sure there's enough for something every day the last thing is one of these lol doll fizzy fashion crush bell thingy my bobbies the girls have not actually had one of these despite the fact that they're only I think they're £3.99, which is quite cheap in comparison with the rest of the LOL things that you can buy nowadays. Or LOL, they literally shout at me all the time for saying LOL. LOL, apologies guys. And yeah, they've just been really excited to get one. They've seen them on YouTube, you crush them, I think you might melt them in water or something, and inside you get a fashion outfit and some shoes. So I also picked them up one of those each. My back is broke right now. I think that's everything. I hope that this vlog has given you guys who like to do advent calendars like this a little bit of inspiration, maybe giving you a few ideas. If you've been struggling, comment down below if you have any ideas because although I think I'm done now, I am still on the lookout for stocking fillers and also I know a lot of people like to read the comments so your comment will be helpful to someone else. So if you've got any ideas, comment them down below let me know what your advent traditions are and what you like to do at christmas time with regards to the build up to christmas whether that's advent calendars or special days out that you always do every single year as a family and then also comment down below and let me know what you would like to see me do next week because i'm really enjoying doing these hauls but i don't want to do hauls every single week and bore you guys i don't know maybe i could do like a traditions or 
stocking filler no because that's that's another haul comment down below guys and let me know what you would like me to do next week and if you found this video helpful give it a big thumbs up and i will see you all again at 5 p.m on our daily vlog bye guys mm.